it's the same as always. Whatever the schedule tells you, that's where you go. Um, you know, we know we're going to play Tuesday here. Uh, we don't know who yet, but I'm sure somebody will show up. They're going to be pretty good. I'm Matt Waymeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. It was a rare Friday night without any games on the Major League Baseball schedule. Thanks to the Indians making quick work of the Blue Jays in the American League Championship Series. Game 6 was scheduled to take place on Friday night from Progressive Field, but the Indians finished off the Jays in five games on Wednesday for their first pennant since 1997. By the time the World Series begins on Tuesday night, the Indians will have had five days off and are still not sure who their fall classic opponent will be. But Indian skipper Terry Francona is not losing any sleep over circumstances beyond his control. As far as our advanced meetings go, if, if that series ends in six, we'll have two days of advanced meetings. If it ends in seven, we'll have one longer day of advanced meetings. That's the only difference there. Already the owner of two World Series rings from his days with the Red Sox, Francona knows that the euphoria from claiming the pennant will vanish if his club is unable to bring home the ultimate prize. We're so proud to get to a World Series, but our work's not done. You know, we need to win the World Series. So nothing has really changed. Um, we you know, love practice today, we'll have, a, we'll have a workout tomorrow, we'll have a meeting before the workout, just like we have every series and just to keep some consistency because we have some big baseball games ahead of us that we're looking forward to. I guess it doesn't matter what team, it's going to be a really good team. The Indians last won the World Series in 1948. The two clubs battling for the right to meet them in the Fall Classic bookended their most recent championships exactly 40 years before and after that date. It's Game 6 of the National League Championship Series between the Cubs and Dodgers on Saturday night from Wrigley Field in Chicago. Kyle Hendricks will be on the mound for the Cubs, hoping to pitch the franchise to their first pennant since 1945. The right-hander knows that a big key to success will be to simply stay composed. This is still the same game. You go out there and you're making the same pitches. It's the same lineup, same hitters. There's just more going on on the outside. So all the attention, the added pressure that's coming from the outside, you just you don't pay attention to it, really. I mean, it has nothing to do with the job that you have to do when you go out there. So you just pretty much take it as any other game. You're going out there and you know the pitches you have to make. Opposing Hendricks in a must-win for the Dodgers will be Clayton Kershaw, who tossed a seven-inning masterpiece in Game 2 at Wrigley Field, yielding no runs on just two singles. But Kershaw knows he faces an uphill battle against a suddenly red-hot Cubs offense. There's no secrets anyway in the game right now. You know, there's so many, so much information. You know, they know every pitch that I throw in every count and every situation. Um, so it's just a matter of not really focusing on that and just trying to you know, compete every single pitch and execute every single pitch. For more on these stories and for complete coverage of the 2016 postseason, keep it locked into MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.